Hey guys, introducing the CNC Labs touch plate. So it's gonna come in a package like this and you're gonna wanna first open it up and then you're gonna wanna pull out the physical plate itself. It should look like this. And then we're gonna pull out the corresponding wires. You should have a banana connector, a magnet, and two open wires. So touch plate wires and this two pin connector that you're gonna find on the long mill control board. So you're gonna to wanna to connect the red wire onto the left side and the black wire onto the right side from a top view. Don't mix this up because it's super important and we're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's tightly screwed in. And when you're done screwing it in, we're gonna make sure that it's nice and snug. Awesome. So we're gonna measure the mill diameter using a caliper or using the manufacturer specs. Here we have six millimeters. So we're gonna plug that into our program. So we're just gonna change that to six. And then we're gonna open up the touch plate. So remove it from its bag. And on the physical touch plate, you're gonna see that there's two holes. And these are for the banana connectors. And uh, depending on the orientation of which corner you're putting the touch plate on, you can use either or holes, whichever makes it easier for you or whichever keeps the wires uh, less tangled. So we're gonna plug in this banana connector, just like that, nice and easy. So we're gonna place that down on one of our corners and then we're gonna wanna connect it to the control board using our two wires. So red wire goes into the probe and the black wire goes into the ground. And you wanna make sure not to mix this orientation up because this is very important. Red to probe, black to ground. So finding the Z axis zero and the X and Y axis edges. So first thing we're gonna do is manually move our end mill to hover over the circle on the touch plate. So it's our CNC Labs logo, and you just want it to hover over that circle. So we're gonna connect our magnet. So what you can do here is follow along and change the settings where it's changing. So you can use your own orientation, but this is what we found works the best. So once we have all that, we're going to measure the outside corner. So this initiates the Z axis zero probing. You can see like that. And then once it has that reading, it's going to move on to the X axis. And once that's that, it's gonna move on to the Y. So super simple, super easy. So we're gonna remove our touch plate and remove our magnet. And then we're gonna to return to zero. As you can see, it's uh, perfectly placed. Very simple. So let's say you want to find just the Z axis zero. You know where your X and Y is, but you do want to find the Z axis zero. So you're going to find your mark. We just placed a blue circle and then we're going to manually move our X axis and our Y axis to hover right over the point. So we are manually finding our X and Y axis. And then we are putting the touch plate down upside down and we're connecting our magnet. So we're gonna re reset the zero, and then we're gonna initiate the probe.
and now we're gonna return to zero. Awesome, so now we're gonna be doing just the X and Y axis edges. Uh, so you wanna manually set your Z. So move your mill to where you wanna set your Z axis. And then we're gonna reset the zero. And we're gonna measure the outside corners. Now it's gonna move on to the x-axis. Now remove your touch plate and your magnet. And then we hit return to zero. And there we go. So this time we manually set our Z and we had our X and Y edges probed. Awesome.